This is Twit. So, uh, Starship Flight 11 is coming. Flight 11. Expect? That's right. So, as of now, you know, as of recording, uh, SpaceX is on track for their next big uh, Starship launch. So, I guess that's the first Starship launch of the fiscal year. Um, and it is Flight 11. And so, we are expecting a couple of things. Right now, the no earlier than launch time is 7.15 Eastern Time, 6.15 Central Time on Monday, October 13th. So, it is a holiday launch for uh, SpaceX. And they'll have a webcast about a half an hour before. So it'll be an evening launch uh, from uh, Starbase in South Texas. Where is that? It's in uh, uh, just outside of Bronzo. Starbase is actually, it's called that now, right? So it's its, its own little town. Uh, and, and it's going to be interesting to watch because as we all remember, uh, Flight 10, they kind of ironed out a lot of the kinks that they were seeing in Starship with all of the explosions, you know, this year. That was their, a big success for them. Uh, they were able to get the uh, the ship to get all the way to the Indian Ocean, uh, do a landing burn, and then uh, and then just kind of ditch it in the sea. Same thing for uh, the the super heavy booster. On this flight, they're going to reuse another super heavy booster. This was the one that they used on Flight Eight, which I think they also uh, flew earlier. Uh, in the year, and uh, and they're going to use uh, about 24 of the engines from that flight too. So they're going to they're steadily reusing more and more engines, and so they're pretty excited about that. Uh, and then they will also try to do a bit more of an uh, not so much aggressive landing for ship, but more of a simulation of what it would take for it to re-enter uh, the Earth's atmosphere. And they've they've done some some jiggering of the heat shield tiles and stuff again to kind of test where they need to put them uh, on uh, on the ship itself uh and they'll they'll try to to pop out eight simulated starlink satellites for the new version of starlink and what they said is that a lot of the tests that they're doing now on this flight are geared towards we're on kind of like the version two for starship they're yeah. geared towards the version three for super heavy which will use more uh more engines to um to land i believe uh, five engines uh for that 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 return uh for the the fine tuning on the way back down uh, and, and that sort of thing so they're going to do a lot of the similar tasks that we saw on flight 10 but also a few more that are geared towards recovery of the ship recovery of the next version of the booster which elon musk has said spacex ceo and founder uh, is supposed to even be more capable than what they've got now. So a little bit bigger, a little bit more payload, more engines that are more, um, actually, yeah, they said more engines too on that one too. So that's all lovely. And I'm so glad they're working on deploying more of their satellites and trying to get their ships back in one piece. But we're not hearing much about um, anything leading to a solid test of the Starship Lunar Lander HLS version, which is supposed to be ready in about uh, 18 months, yeah. including well, a test flight. Yeah, we mm -hmm. heard we heard some hints uh, from Elon Musk uh, after Flight 10, things like uh, they're looking at the first orbital flight in 2026, the uh, first kind of, I guess, early docking tests and uh, by the end of the year, maybe even a refueling test uh, as well. But they're really trying to ramp a lot of that up. Now, they have uh, built a second pad in Starbase. They're also building the, the pad in Florida, too, so they can have uh, a Starbase a launch out of 39A uh, there, too. And so, uh, you know, I think we are, you know, we've seen what? This is going to be the fifth launch of Starbase, uh, Star, Starbase, of Starship this year. Uh, it's probably safe to say that they have to launch more uh, next year, and they're getting the yeah. clearances they need from the FAA to be able to do that. If you like what you just saw, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can catch us on your favorite podcast app or subscribe to our YouTube channel using the links below. Thanks. Thanks.